Hi, this is Matt Reisinger at the Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here on uh, a lakefront property that uh, my company is doing a whole house remodel addition on. What a gorgeous view of uh, the lake from here. And as you can see, we, we've uh, done an incredible pool patio space. We're still in our construction, so not uh, looking 100% finished yet, but we're getting close. The reason for today's post is I wanted to talk to you about uh, spray foam and one of the reasons why I really like crawl space type foundations uh, as opposed to a slab foundation, especially in these uh, hillside lots. You see a lot of uh, times you'll see slab foundations used that have real tall slabs. And uh, I'm actually a big fan of, of doing these in, uh, in a crawl space type application. You can see there's a house above us and we've got a bunch of these plumbing pipes running through the uh, floor space here and the spray foam is sprayed in those joists separating this uh, unfinished, unvented crawl space, uh, pardon me, vented crawl space up to the house above. And um, this, this spray foam really makes for a very, very well insulated floor compared to, let's say, an uninsulated slab that's going to be soaking up the sun's rays and then radiating that into the house. This house with the spray foam in this floor area it's going to make a very, very comfortable house and it's going to have a whole lot less heat gain uh, than a slab foundation. Let me, uh, I'm going to turn this off and uh, pick up in one other section of the crawl space. Uh, I'll see you in a second. Okay, I'm on the opposite end of the house here and uh, you can see this garage here uh, going in. This is actually a, a boat storage garage on the, uh, into the crawl space area of the house. And then as we pan up to where that stucco has been completed, that's the line of the uh, master bedroom floor. And you can see this is a fairly tall house. We're on a pretty sloping lot. This retaining wall here above that is the uh, pool patio space up above. Um, when these clients first came and, and uh, visited with me about building their house, the original intention was to build this in a, in a uh, slab foundation. So where that boat garage is, that would have been a tall slab wall. And slabs are great in Texas. They really are a great foundation. We do those quite a bit. But when you're talking about a slab that this tall, that's this tall, um, really it's not the best application. You have to fill that uh, with backfill material. You have to uh, use a ton more concrete and rebar. And in this case, we were able to uh, build them an incredible boat garage and really build them a much more energy efficient home as well. We're going to walk in here and I'll show you how much space we have in this uh, it's hardly called a crawl space at this point. It's so tall. So let's take a look at this. As you, as you come into this boat garage space, you can see this whole uh, floor above us has been steel framed. My framer uh, has a welder on site. Did a great job of steel framing all this. This is a retaining wall on our right here, which is retaining some pool patio space. And then, uh, of course, you've got my favorite floor truss system there. That's a two by four floor truss with uh, inch and an eighth Advantech decking on top of it. And then you can see all this plumbing here. This is all the plumbing. All the uh, insulated lines there are PEX lines that have been insulated. And the white lines are the drain waste vent. The other nice benefit of working on a crawl space is if you ever have any plumbing issues or want to remodel someday, of course, it's very, very easy uh, to do a remodel on this uh, type of foundation in the future. My spray foam guys have knocked off for the day. It's actually the day before Thanksgiving today. But you can see where we've started spray foaming this. We're able to put three and a half inches of spray foam in there in, that, uh, um, in this crawl space, separating the unfinished crawl space to the heated and cooled floors above. And it just makes a very, very efficient uh, construction. And then, of course, as we look back here out that garage that I, sh that I walked through a minute ago, also, now we've got a ton of storage space. We're going to finish this off. They'll easily be able to back in a boat, maybe two pairs of jet skis, and have a ton of storage down here. So thanks for joining me. And uh, if you've got a steep lot like this in Texas, talk to your structural engineer and your builder about the merits of uh, doing slab versus crawl space. And uh, you may find that it's a little less expensive to build this way in a sloping lot and it's going to make for a, a better insulated, better performing house that has a lot of benefits for uh, ease of future remodeling and, uh, and certainly for just overall comfort on the house. So thanks for joining me, everybody. Have a great uh, Thanksgiving. We'll talk to you later.